Also in the news tonight, thousands of firefighters are continuing their battle against one of the biggest wildfires that California has ever seen. The Rim Fire in and around Yosemite National Park has burned 234 square miles, and it's now threatening San Francisco's main water supply. Bagad Shaban is on the scene. More than 3,000 firefighters have battled gusty winds and dry brush to contain 15% of the massive fire. This weekend, the governor declared a state of emergency for San Francisco. Though the Rim Fire is about 130 miles east, it's burning closer to the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir, which supplies 85% of San Francisco's drinking water. Glenn Stratton is operations section chief and says the danger now is ash getting into the water. How soon could it be before the fire creeps right to the edge of the reservoir? Probably a couple days. I would say at the, at the rate it's been moving, and then with the weather we got, so I'd say two, three days. So are you confident in the meantime that you'll be able to keep the reservoir safe? Yes, yeah, I think so. About 20,000 acres are burning in the park, which pumps about $400 million into the economy. A major attraction are the majestic groves of 2,000-year-old sequoia trees. Crews are hosing them down to weaken the intensity of the encroaching blaze. Don Neubacher is superintendent of the park. A low intensity burn around the bases won't be bad. I mean, some of the seedlings need fire to regenerate. So if we can keep it to low intensity burns, then we can actually help the sequoias. So in some aspects, you're welcoming the fire. Yeah, well, I think we, we're gonna use the fire to potentially enhance the groves. And the only thing we have to ensure is that we don't get really a high intensity catastrophic fire. And right now, the winds are continuing to push this wildfire to the northwestern side of the park, which is actually good news. As it continues to move in that direction, it will continue hitting rock and granite. And so the fire will just simply die out because it doesn't have any more fuel to burn. But Scott, the blaze may not be completely put out until the winter. Begad, thank you.